What is a depressing truth you have made peace with? Im kinda dumb tbh. A friendship you thought would last forever can end in an instant. Just because you think someone is the one, doesn't mean they think you are. You can be the best apple on the tree. But they may not like apples. And apples shouldn't try being an orange. I will never get back the time I have lost to depression. Edit, I am amazed by the huge response, and appreciate your comments and the awards. Thankfully, life is mostly better for me. We can and do recover. I wish those of you in the middle of it you peace and love. Reach out for help, you are worth it. No matter how hard you love someone, they can fall out of love with you and Therese nothing you can do to fix it. Took me a lot of self-destruction and pain to realize it. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. Life isn't fair. I hate when people say karma will get that bad person. Nine times out of ten the asshole gets away with it. Life is unfair. Shitty people always make it to the top because they don't care who they step on to get there. Exactly this. It's not that the bad people are lucky or even better, they're just cunning. They can turn off that switch in their brain that feels remorse for hurting those around them. Most decent people can't. If you want to be in the 1% of successful people, you need to be ruthless in your ambition. I love when people ask what's the secret sauce? Waking up early? Working hard? It's ruthless, calculates risks. The sooner most of us realize what it actually takes to get there, the sooner you'll realize you don't really want token be that person. I believe the only way to get to the top while remaining a fundamentally good person is plain dumb luck. My childhood is gone, and I have no good memory from that phase of my life. For me it's my teenage years. I missed on so much and it made me really socially handicapped. Same with me, spent most of my teen years depressed, rotting away in my room battling suicidal thoughts. I'm 22 now and feeling like I'm starting to come out of it but I'm realizing how much it thwarted my growth, how much I missed out on and didn't experience and I feel like I'm now starting life. I feel like I'm stuck at a certain age like I'm still a kid in many ways and I haven't grown or changed into a real adult. Well, if it's any consolation, I didn't feel like a real adult until well into my 30s. I don't know if any of us ever really feel that way. Good thing is being 22 is you have plenty of time to have experiences that you may have felt you missed out on, that may not be the case for some things. But the 20s is definitely better than teens emo. I will always have the big sad following me, I can push it down for a bit, but it will come back eventually. I just need to remember to breathe and remember I can get past it. Being alive is expensive. You can do everything perfectly and still fail completely. That and people would rather leave you than own up to what they did and they'll never even give you a second thought. Humans, turns out, are good at lying to themselves. Edit. Oh. Oh wow. So many upvotes. Thank you all. Should I shamelessly plug my Twitch? Ha 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 no I'm just playing. Thanks. There's an episode of Star Trek, The Next Generation where Picard tells Data, it is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. That is not a weakness, that is life. I'm not sure people leave without a second thought. You may never know how much someone who's left thinks about you. They may deeply regret what they've done and just not know how to fix it. Or believe that it cannot be fixed. There will be no cure for my spinal cord injury in my lifetime. It was initially very depressing to realize, but almost three years in I'm kind of okay with it. They should cure other stuff like ALS first, and if it has to be psi related, cure the nerve pain, or the bowel bladder stuff. The not walking is very low on my list of priorities personally. I'm aware of ongoing research, but have no faith in any of it. We'd have to either revolutionize neurology or be very lucky. It's been 34 years since my accident. Completely dislocated my spine from T12 to L2. I have severe phantom pain in both my legs that's worse than anything else I've ever experienced, and I was no stranger to pain before the accident. About 15 years ago I started passing kidney stones almost constantly. Even that isn't as bad as the phantom pain. The first two years were the hardest, but the rest really ducked with me until I give up hope. Hope kept me in a state of perpetual depression and angst, acceptance let me move on and live life on my terms. Good luck to you, my friend. One can still find joy in life, regardless of our situation. Pain and nerve research does stink. Especially when you have rare crap. It feels pretty lonely and you know you might be waiting a long time for a game changer. There are tools we can learn how to use to take the edge off, but Teresa lot that will just always be there and we just have to learn to cope with that, 
I guess. For what it's worth, thank you for sharing. It's inspiring to hear this. I have my own neurological medical shit to deal with. Sometimes I think, how the hell am I supposed to go the next year of my life, let alone 30? I've just started coping in more serious ways. Being able to mentally accept and move on is hard. But it's what I need to hear and work on right now. Thank you. I'm likely destined for an average life. Being a kid is always thinking you are the main character destined for great things. Growing up is realizing you are a background extra in a single filler episode. If you are lucky. My dad passed away six weeks ago and I will never see, hear, chat or get to hug him ever again that forever is a long time. I'm so sorry. If you have his voice on a voicemail, save that on your own device, because the phone service will delete it after a few years. My brother died at the end of March after a long battle with cancer. In his last few days when he could barely talk at all I said, Hey! Look me in the face and tell me that you love me, which is something my best friend who died of cancer 10 years ago used to always say. My brother looked over and smiled and choked out the words, I love you. I have probably played that video 500 times already. God damn, now someone is cutting onions in my car. No one is coming to help. Everyone is making jokes, I get exactly where you're coming from. My wife and I get basically zero support from either of our families, and when we get into tough shit, there is no rescue or recourse, we just have to ride through it and hope we come out okay. I also know that when it comes right down to it, if something tough happened with me, I'd be almost completely on my own to handle it. It's a very tough realization. Sometimes people you care deeply about will choose to drop out of your life and all you can really do is have the grace to let them edit. To everyone struggling with being left behind, and to everyone struggling with having to be the one to leave I hope the pain eases for you soon. This is elegant. I'm dealing with this right now. Part of me wants to revive our past relationship and constantly attempt to interact with them. But dignity and maturity dictate that it's time to quit. At least I still have my memories. The memories are the worst part to me. Everything that was once happy becomes sad and it all just endlessly haunts me. Been there as well, was so involved with someone that every single thing I enjoyed would remind me of them. I though I would never get over the pain, it took maybe 5 years to be truly over it. It will get better eventually. Been there too. It's like I associate my happiness with them. So now that they are gone, I struggle. Sometimes I wonder, will I ever be that happy again? Ike, but for now, I'm just pulling through. Mine was three years ago. The people that cause the most harm to the world will go unpunished, live happy and fulfilled lives, and die getting to do pretty much anything they ever wanted simply because they were either born into wealth or managed to acquire tons of it through nefarious means. One day all my friends will go our separate ways, we will eventually stop talking. One day was the last day you ever talked to a friend and you had no idea. I had a friend I used to game with. We played multiplayer games pretty much every day for years. We would sign on to Steam at the same time every day and like clockwork, just start chatting with each other. We talked about everything. It never dawned on me to swap phone numbers social media with him, because we were so consistent with our timing. The last time I talked to him was 9 years ago. One day he just didn't sign on, and that was it. I have no clue what happened to him. I made a good friend like this through Xbox, Destiny 1, we actually became good Earl friends and hung out a bunch but one day he stopped signing on, I texted and called him for 2 weeks straight with no answer. I searched his name online and found an obituary. I broke out in tears as we had plans to do a lot things in world rip google maps op I love you Jake. 